All right, today is September 24th. It's a Sunday, and it's also episode 11 of the bulking series. Today is chest, biceps, and triceps. Starting off on this new incline machine press that I tried out literally randomly while we were hitting legs, because I saw it and I was like, hmm, I've never given this machine press a shot at all. Tried it out, and it actually felt insanely good. And I had it last chest day for the first time ever. Felt incredible that time as well. So now this is my second time ever hitting this machine. Hoping to get stronger than last time, because Last time I did 230, my first set for, I believe like six or seven reps and 215 for seven or eight. So I'm hoping I can get 240 or even 250. I'm feeling a lot stronger this time already. So we'll see how this feels. This is my last warm up set with 215 pounds. So this feels good after two reps. I'll probably say screw it and go to 250. Feels a little heavy, but uh, I don't know. Part of me still wants to go to 250, so I don't know. I'll reassess in like two or three minutes and decide from there. I'm gonna blur some music. Some of my workouts, I'll play music. Other workouts, I won't. This time, I'm wanting to listen to music because I don't know. Chest just doesn't feel right unless you're actually blurring some music as you're pressing. So, gonna get uh, gonna get Freebird playing by Leonard Skinner. Scoot forward to the freestyle part about 30 seconds before the build-up happened. John, can you help me with um, like two assisted reps? And just like stand on this side, I guess. Hopefully the camera stays good with the sunlight coming in. Whew. I'm saying screw it and doing 250. So I have no idea how this is gonna feel. A lot heavier than my weight last time, 20 pounds up. I didn't get a lot of reps at 230, so if I, I don't know, dude. At least, hopefully five. If I can get five of mine, I'd be really happy. I need to, I'm yapping too much. I gotta find the right balance between yapping and playing my music. But yeah, you know the deal. It's pretty much just gonna be heavy, so just be ready to help. What was that? I think I was like four on my own. Yeah. One assisted, and a ton of partials, and then mid-range. So, oh, one less than what I wanted, that's still fine. I'm gonna go probably 15 pounds less, actually 20 pounds less, drop it down to 230, and try and get seven to nine higher quality reps with less weight. Just focus on slower tempo, and uh, having better quality reps overall, because with my last like two right there, I was kind of like squeezing with my legs a little bit too much scrunching my butt forward, which is not really what you're wanting to do with an inclined machine press. So it's all right. Not every single set is gonna be 100% perfect. At least the intensity was there. So my last set cut out. I don't know why or what messed up with my camera, but I got six or seven reps, I think, with 230. So it was a great set. Now Colton is doing his. I don't normally show Colton and John's sets, but figured I might as well. Uh. Let's go. Come on, yes sir. Slow, slow, come on. Good, push, 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 push. Right back down, right back down, go. Slow, slow. A little bit farther down, now partials, go. More, one more. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh man. It feels good, doesn't it? Yes, sir. So yeah, like I said, don't know why the last set cut out, but it's whatever. I'm probably gonna show more of John and Colton's sets in general, 
about this workout. So this video does well. You guys want to see more of all three of our sets? Let me know and I'll do that more for future videos. Uh, I think you did like three or four. Oh, there's gonna be a five one here as well. Oh, uh, how many fours I want? Uh, I'll see you like see two fours on this one. I like to do, always get four reps on like one out of my two sets. What's up, Michael? We looking stage ready? Yeah, looking big as fuck, dude. Watch out. Yeah. Oh. 25, 10, and a five. Okay. Oh, I did three plates for like six sloppy reps. Not fully sloppy, but somewhat sloppy reps last time. So lower the weight by a little bit. This is like pff, damn near three plates, but I'm gonna hope to get five or six more quality reps than last time with a little bit less weight. That's good. Oh my gosh. Partials on a flat machine press, way different than partials on an incline machine press. Oh, but I think I was definitely, was that five on my own? That was six on your own. Oh, six on my own? Sweet, that's even better than last time. Let's go. So next time I'm definitely gonna do three plates for six quality reps for sure, because this is damn near three plates. So let's go. We just did two sets of both machine presses, two for incline and two for flat. Now we're doing one set of this peg deck machine press fly, the machine press fly, where we have our elbows tucked before doing the rep and then straightening out towards the end of every single one. I learned this tip when I was about seven or eight weeks out while I was on prep, visiting my girlfriend in Ohio and also went to go work out with my coach. And during that workout is when I learned that tip. Because crazy coincidence that my coach, TNF, lives where he used to live like 20 minutes from my girlfriend's house in Ohio. John or Colton, can one of y'all give me um, assisted force? Just for the last like five to 10% that I can't get on my own. Whew, I got this for like six, I think last time. So if I can get seven, I'd be really happy. Like I was fine. So, yeah, yeah, I was just saying, don't even bother helping because at that point I couldn't even get like past your on my own. So, yeah. no, I just make because the right arm kind of flew back. Oh, yeah, no, it was all good. It's fine. Whew. I think I got one less than I wanted, but it's okay. I got up on, went up on literally every other set and maintained on this one. So, that's still a win. And my bucks, still a good set. And also, my form just felt really good, really slow and controlled right there. So we're all good. Next time, it'll be better. So the audio didn't even show whenever we were posing. So sorry about that, but I still wanted to hopefully show like 10, 15 seconds of us posing because that was directly out for the chest pump. Now we're gonna go over to the machine preacher curl and start off with biceps. <sighs> we are now on the machine preacher curl. I already warmed up with one set. I'm gonna do one more warm up set before I do my working, but I'm not gonna record that. So after Colton does his working, you'll see me go straight into my working. 
Let's go, come on. A little bit slower on the Eastern trick. Good. Good, come on. Honestly, probably could have loaded this up a little bit heavier. I think he's feeling around seven or eight. Come on, let's go. Up, up, up. It's barely, barely helping. It's all you. Good shit, come on. One more. Up, up, up. Yes, sir. Slow, slow. Fish off the partials now. Right here. Oh, that's it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know how that feels, you know it is incredibly painful, but we're about to get massive arms. That's all that matters. Dude, anyone that's a high level coach is going to tell you that you have good genetics. <laughs> like, like, that's objectively just a fact. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Let's see. John, did you change the uh, setting at all or no? The C setting? Yeah. What'd you have it on? I don't know. You weren't looking? Okay. Yeah, that feels about normal. All right, time to do my working set. Let's do this shit. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's painful, bro. <laughs> I was just saying it to the camera, and now I'm experiencing it. Oh my gosh. It does feel like your biceps are about to like literally just like tear off when you're yeah. doing those partials at the end. Oh my gosh. I love this machine preacher curl, dude. I'm so glad Tiger and added it in. I know. I never did preacher curls before this machine was added in. Now it's my main movement for biceps. Gym is incredibly empty right now. I love it. It's like Sunday night right now, or Sunday afternoon. Yeah, 6.40 on Sunday. Not looking forward to my classes tomorrow, but at least it's an empty gym right now. But yeah, now we're doing hammer curls. I did, I think, 40s last time, or 45s, so like six to eight. I can't even remember. I need to actually like take notes better while I'm working out, but I just have so much going on, I feel like, at all times. That's a BS excuse. I could track better if I really, really made it a priority. So, I don't know, maybe it'll click within the next few days that I need to actually do it. Um. <sighs> Hopefully the camera's focused, but yeah, got the 45s. Just gonna go into the last loop failure. Let's do it. Yeah, that feels incredible. I'm only doing four sets of biceps today. Just two sets of the machine preacher curl and two sets of this dumbbell hammer curl. Then after one more set of this, we're gonna head into the other room again and start off triceps with our mechanical drop set that my coach, TNF, put me on. All right, it's on negative 27 now. So I'm pretty sure my audio was a little bit messed up last set, so I'm sorry about that. Didn't realize it was, you know, off by a massive amount until I looked at my settings 
and realized it was off, but it's all good now. I told John to get under the crazy good down lighting so you guys can see how crazy he's looking right now. He's gonna be done with this cut, I think within the next like week or two is what we're planning for. He's been aggressively cutting for the last like two or three months. So after two more weeks, once he gets lean enough, the cut will be done. And from there, he's gonna bulk back up and try to gain a lot of size, just like me and Colton are doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good shit. You don't need to do drops it after that. That was perfect. I felt so early right there. That's fine, bro. I'm feeling after like literally five like quality reps and like six is like kind of pretty rough where I'm like shaking on the way up. Yeah. And after that, I'm doing like three or four like half reps yeah. and calling it done. So yeah. it's Even fine. The last couple weren't great. That's not a big deal, bro. Hype him up in the comments. He's always he's always hating on himself. <sighs> First time I ever tried that, like three or four months ago, whenever I was eight weeks out for my show, absolutely destroyed my triceps. And ever since then, has been a staple every single time I had triceps. I was doing it after the dip machine press, but coach TNF told me to start off my tricep workouts with a mechanical drop set. So that's what I've been doing for about two weeks now. My energy. Huh? Hey! Yeah, yeah, let's talk about it on the YouTube channel. John drank last night and he's supposed to be cutting. He's 21, so it's legal. And he's not breaking the law here, but bro, it's supposed to be shredded right now. Everyone shame him in the comments. Maybe that'll get them to take the cut seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, let's not talk about the, uh, we won't talk about the exam and, the, and whatever class he has tomorrow and the exam he has. But yeah, if I do my first working set of this, my only working set for this exercise, then after that, we're heading out. Hey man, fuck off. <laughs> We have been talking to so many people throughout this entire workout and just talking a lot in general throughout this whole workout. And now I'm getting pretty hungry. So just doing one set of this, gonna yeah, hang out a little bit more in the locker room with the crazy down lighting. Then after that, head home and have a protein ninja creamy ice cream. <laughs> I will not be taking my shirt off like John did because I am feeling a little bit fluffier than I'd like. But the tricep pump is unreal. I feel like I lose definition every single time I get a tricep pump. I feel like it's the same with pretty much everyone. But it always is pretty cool seeing it just be like half an inch bigger than normal. Since your triceps take up like 75% or 80% of your entire arm. It's a cool sight to see, man. <sighs> Yeah, man, he can't be drinking. He messed up, dude. <laughs> Everyone time, shame him. One time in three months, bro. Come on. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Actually, that's not true. Yeah, everyone. One time in like month the past, yeah, month and a half. Still better than what you were doing originally. And uh, he still is looking shredded. I'm giving him shit. Just uh, make sure he gets done with this cut faster. Then. to look more vascular today, man. Yeah, man. Well, sure, sure. No, but seriously, he has like two more weeks of like strict dieting. No more cheats. Or alcohol, None. and then after that, he'll be back in the bulking phase, and we'll have the occasional cheat, but still limited alcohol use because there's nothing wrong with drinking inherently. You know, it's fun every now and then. I do it once every like three to six months, but it's very rare. Like no more than like four times a year for me when it comes to drinking. Like, oh my god, <laughs> that is so loud. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I'm gonna be dead. What in the world? That's not loud. That was so loud. All right, but yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to use code Kason on EchoVision, Young LA, Research Chem, all that good stuff. 
Let me know what you want to see more of in all future videos. If you want to see more like training videos of John and Colton, if you want to see more like outside of the gym videos, I've been recording like strictly in the gym for pretty much every single video. So whatever you guys want to see more of is what I will try to provide. Bear with me though, because I still am in school. So it makes it a little bit harder to have like full flexibility. But once I'm done with school, I'll have so much more time. I cannot wait. But yeah, enough rambling. Love you all. Have a great day. See you in the next one.